12 Best Things to Do in Bradford In the English county of West Yorkshire is the city of Bradford, which is surrounded by the beautiful Pennine Highlands. Bradford, along with the most of the rest of the north of England, had a significant role during the Industrial Revolution in the United Kingdom. Bradford was known for its expertise in the textile industry, in addition to its advantageous position close to both mines and water. Even in modern times, Bradford is a wonderful place to visit if you're interested in history, culture or getting a flavourful glimpse into life in West Yorkshire. Because of its stunning setting, it is an ideal spot for travelling around the countryside and becoming acquainted with the natural world. The following is a list of some of the more notable aspects of visiting Bradford, which will assist you in making the most of your time spent in this dynamic and varied city. Let's take a look at some of the best things to do in Bradford and its most popular attractions. 12. Lister Park One of the biggest and most frequented places for people visiting Bradford's public parks is the Lister Park. Because the surrounding area is so picturesque, this place is perfect for taking it easy on a warm summer day. Explore and take pleasure in the many flower gardens that are available, particularly during the spring and summer months. In addition, there is a boat lake, tennis courts, sports facilities and a play area for youngsters, so there is no shortage of things to do here. The Mukhal Water Garden is among the most interesting features of the park. This one-of-a-kind garden has both Islamic and Indian styles of architecture and it was designed to revolve around waterways and ponds in order to provide an atmosphere that is both serene and gorgeous. A wonderful escape from the hustle and bustle of the city centre, Lister Park is the perfect place to while away some few hours, getting caught up in its stunning gardens and wide green areas. 11. Bronte Parsonage Museum the Bronte Society maintains the Bronte Parsonage Museum as a tribute to the three well-known Bronte sisters, Charlotte, Emily and Anne. This exhibition is an absolute must-see for everyone who has an interest in literature. Classic works of literature such as Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights and Agnes Grey were written by all these sisters. Visitors who are interested in learning more about the Bronte sisters and the surrounding landscape that served as an inspiration to them often visit the museum, which is housed in their old home in Haworth, close to Bradford. The museum has the actual writing desk used by Charlotte Bronte, along with letters, journals and other keepsakes that belong to the Bronte family. In fact, the museum often hosts activities such as lectures, literary readings and screenings of films. 10. Bolling Hall The 14th century saw the construction of Bolling Hall, which is now considered to be one of Bradford's oldest structures. It is thought that the Bolling family finally purchased the property and converted it into a beautiful residence after it had previously served as a defence building. Today, Bolling Hall serves as a museum that chronicles the life story in Bradford going all the way back to medieval times. The museum also displays the building's unusual blend of architectural features. The Bolling Hall Library is located inside the museum, which also contains material pertaining to the English Civil War. The hall provides visitors with a really realistic sense of life in medieval Bradford. If you're feeling adventurous, try searching for the spirit that is said to inhabit the hall and see whether you can spot it. 9. Peace Museum The Peace Museum is unlike any other museum in the United Kingdom. The museum is the only one of its kind in the nation and its focus is on the history and relevance of peace, humanitarian activists and peace initiatives. The museum honours those who have worked for the betterment of society or the planet via various forms of activism and community service. The collection of the museum also includes artefacts that concentrate on the history and culture of the surrounding area. Posters, drawings and flyers are some of the things that may be seen on display in the museum. There is an art show on advocacy and social movements, along with a permanent display on Bradford's participation in the many peace movements that have taken place. This museum is the only one of its sort in all of Britain, and it provides visitors with a fascinating insight into the culture of Bradford. 8. The Cathedral of Bradford The Bradford Cathedral is indeed the oldest worship facility in the city and is considered to be among the city's undiscovered treasures. This historic parish church has become a cathedral since 1919 and its stately expansions provide the impression of inviting spaciousness. The building is larger than you would imagine it to be. There is a lot of beauty to be found on the inside and the outer. 
Even though it is located in the middle of the city, the cathedral is encircled by beautifully planted gardens, making it a very desirable retreat throughout the whole year. The cathedral, which was used as a defensive structure during the English Civil War, is currently the location of some of the first orders in stained glass that were done by William Morris and Co. In addition, there are patterns in bronze and needlework crafted by Ernest Seashell, as well as sculptures crafted by John Flaxman. 7. Cartwright Hall Cartwright Hall, regarded as one of the finest art galleries in Bradford, can be found right in the middle of Lister Park, which is quite popular. The hall was first opened in 1904 and boasts architecture in the Baroque style, which helps it stand out against the calm of its surroundings. The gallery features a diverse range of artwork, including examples of British art from the 20th century, current displays from all over the globe, and works created using many forms of media. William Blake, Andy Warhol, David Hockney and a great number of other well-known artists all have works of art available for purchase. This is a fantastic trip that can be added to a day spent at Lister Park and offers something for everyone to enjoy. 6. St George's Hall St George's Hall, located in the centre of Bradford, is a great place to go if you want to see modern culture in an old building. This music hall, which is now a listed building, is the oldest one in Britain that is still in operation and it is the third oldest in all of Europe. Iron Maiden, David Bowie, Kiss and even Charles Dickens have all performed at this venue during the course of their respective careers. You may still see great names play here today and if you become hungry you can stop by the venue's restaurant for a bite to eat. When looking for a legendary venue in which to enjoy the evening entertainment that Bradford has to offer, St George's Hall is among the top choices. 5. Peel Park Bradford is home to a number of beautiful parks and green areas, including the sprawling Peel Park, which is one of the city's public parks. In 1853, it was established as Bradford's very first public park, which is now recognised as an English heritage monument. There are a variety of historical relics that can be found strewn over the park. A few of the gates and sculptures date to the 19th century and there is also a lodge that is on the National Register of Historic Places. In addition to that, there are a few drinking fountains that have charming Victorian architecture. Take a pause by the lake for the beautiful scenery and the opportunity to see some of the native flora and fauna as you navigate your way through into the park. Peel Park is a nice and soothing green area that also provides entertainment for thrill-seekers. If you want to carry off some feats, you can find a huge skate park in the park, which is located if you want to discover it in the campground. 4. Bradford City Park – Park Bradford The ancient Bradford City Hall is the focal point of Bradford City Park, which is a public green area located in the very centre of the city. The park is home to well-tended gardens, in addition to a sizeable event area that is often used for gatherings of the local community, exhibits and market stalls. Visit the Mirror Pool, which is home to the tallest fountain in Britain and has water that may reach heights of up to 30 metres. People who wish to have a little fun during the summer may do so at the play fountains and after the sun has set there are regular light displays that take place. Both the Bradford One Gallery and the Impressions Gallery may be found in close proximity to the main public area in the city. The park is a wonderful location for taking photographs and enjoying a relaxing day in breathtaking surroundings. 3. The Bradford Industrial Museum and Art Gallery When you first arrive while visiting Bradford, you shouldn't miss the opportunity to check out the Bradford Industrial Museum. This museum focuses on the local industrial history of Bradford and investigates the city's significance throughout the time of the Industrial Revolution. The textile industry in Bradford, which included the production of wool, earned the city a good reputation. The museum is housed in what was formerly a textile mill and displays equipment that was operational during the city of Bradford's heyday of manufacturing. The museum offers visitors an in-depth look into the workings of various production procedures by housing galleries devoted to transportation, printing and the production of textiles. In honour of Bradford's illustrious manufacturing past, pick up a few mementos in the gift shop of the museum. 2. Bradford Alhambra One of the best places to visit in Bradford is quite easily the performing arts venue Bradford Alhambra. The theatre was first constructed in 1913, however it has since been designated as a listed building due to its stunning and recognisable architecture which makes it easy to see in the Bradford skyline. 
The theatre has presented large-scale and travelling productions from a wide variety of art forms, such as musicals, plays, dance performances and even programmes examining themes like science. Visit the restaurant in the theatre for a fine dining experience or go to the cafe for breakfast if you're looking for something a little lighter. This is a fantastic facility that hosts some of the most entertaining acts that Bradford has to offer. 1. The National Museum of the Media Pop culture enthusiasts and anybody else interested in the massive volumes of media that we take in on a daily basis will feel right at home at the National Media Museum. The museum has a variety of exhibits that focus on a variety of topics, including animation, photos, computer games, cinema, radio and the web. With more than 3.5 million individual artefacts, it is home to one of the most extensive collections of media ever assembled. Additionally, the museum contains the very first IMAX theatre in the United Kingdom. This theatre has an enormous screen and a unique cinematic atmosphere. Participate actively in one of the several interactive displays that are on display or go to one of the temporary exhibits that rotate regularly to get new insights into other points of view about the society and the press. Inside the museum, in addition to a cafe and a bar, there are two theatres where you can see the most recent movies as well as some old favourites from the past. Spending a day at the National Media Museum is a fantastic way to understand further about the heritage and culture of Britain through the lens of various forms of media. It must have been overwhelming for you to know about Bradford having so many iconic places and numerous fun things to do, considering how the mainstream media portrays this often troubled Midlands town. However, from vast hilly parks and art exhibitions to modern museums and shopping arenas, Bradford really is cool for a small city. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.